I do want to do the specials. Oh, but it doesn't give me money. Ah, whatever, we're here, we'll do it. Wow, this is easy. I just kind of wish this was, this was like a regular campaign mission, and you just get a text message of like, how are you there and when are you getting back from Mars? It's almost kind of difficult to properly appreciate. what I am cleaning here. Actually did a pretty decent job with this thing. Okay. Yeah, let's just go back to giving it a full 360 degree wash. Oh yeah, there's, there's the other one. The little helicopter drone. I think that's a thing. I forget. I don't actually know too much about the Mars exploration programs. I kind of wish I did. I dropped off very hard on the whole, like, space thing. Probably after watching... Was it Apollo 13 or Apollo 11? Whatever the, uh, the Apollo movie with Tom Hanks. Like, watching that movie really turned me off of the idea of being in space for any reason whatsoever. That and Lost in Space. Lost in Space freaked the shit out, uh... Freaked me out so much that, like, I never even wanted to think about being in space. I know it's, like, uh, a dream for some people to be up there, but, like, for me, eh, I'm fine with being where I am. There we go. If I could just walk off. What is this? Oh. <laughs> it's a little Martian gnome. That's adorable. Nothing I can do. It fine. Oh, there's actually less gravity here. That's great. Did you notice the footprints? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Those are fun. I love that. Yeah, can you follow the prints? Uh, well, they go to and from the hatch. like any of this is particularly caked on either so I can just kind of take my time with it I guess it makes sense it's all just dust there shouldn't be any cor corrosion or anything like heavy duty on it Oh gosh, yeah, getting to some of these sections is going to be kind of tight. The game's usually pretty forgiving about getting to these spots. I feel like climbing this is actually just absolutely heinous and I should not be doing this. But here I am, on top of the Mars rover. 
This feels like an interstellar crime. Speaking of Studio Trigger, aren't they, uh, didn't they come up with a trailer for, like, a new series about, like, a robot girl or a mecha girl or something like that? Or am I wildly misremembering it? I was trying to find the, uh, I was trying to find the trailer for it, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find it when I was looking yesterday. Let's see. There we go. Hey, cleaning these wheels is tough. Okay. Tire wheel hub. Okay, one of these tires ain't done. There we go. What left? Okay, the drill and the rock analyzer. There we go, got it. Hazard cameras. Got it. One of the tires. This one. Oh wait, yeah, it's a wheel lock. Put here by the Martians. I didn't. E oh, I didn't even realize that. I thought that was like an intentional thing, as part of like a tread. But no, they straight up just jacked this uh, the rover. Where the hell is the dirt on this thing? There we go. Wheel hub. Yeah, it's the wheel hub on that. Ugh. Let's see, one of the wheels, IRL, broke down. There we go. I don't think I actually got any uh, money out of that, but it was kind of fun all the same. That's, that's cute. I wish it gave me money, though. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got the better one. Let's go for the gol golf cart. I've been spending too much time on each of these on an the individual level, and doing something quick would be lovely. Urban. Wow. Well, can you say speed? Because... Dang, this is quick. Okay. Here's some of this stuff out real, real fast. I guess what I should do is probably get down. Get, get down and dirty. Let's see, did I get that hubcap? I hope I did. Boy, standing up on this is very immediate. Why is there so much dirt up there? What happened to these people? I should have probably read the lore for this mission. Just to find out what the heck they were doing. Muddy did the golf course, I could understand. You know, the mud being kind of low. But up there? What'd you do? What kind of horrors were you committing to this poor golf cart? Port. Like, there's all sorts of dirt on the inside of it. Okay. Oh, you know what? I know where I'm missing... You know what? I'll take it. What am I missing? I'm 
the body front canopy support and the steer co steering column. A little bit more than the steering column. Get clean, you f There we go. Looking at the golf cart now, it's almost like the whole thing never happened. You're a genius, dirt finder. Much obliged. What was the original? I didn't check. Oh, hooligans drove it into the water hazard again. Is that actually true? I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Oh, the mayor himself drove it into a pond. <laughs> oh yeah, soiled like you wouldn't believe. Didn't actually say, but you know what? Is what it is. Alright. Clean the bungalow? Clean the bungalow. Bungalow! Oh, uh, anyway. Hey, Doc. You know how I mentioned my folks? Well, it's time to clean their... Or, I think it's time their bungalow met your pressure washer. So filthy, it's hard to tell where the ground ends and the house begins. When I mentioned you to Ma, her eyes lit up. Pops moaned and said the browner the porch, the warmer the torch. Which means... Which clearly means nothing. So he's overruled. If you can give the place a good cleanup, I'm sure they'll... It'd give them both a, a lift. All right. Grab soap. Why would I ever? Ooh. Probably better to stick with the green. The white is just a little... little weak for my tastes. Yeah, I don't think I need to go back to the yellow unless we run into something particularly durable. Yeah, let's start with the driveway. Let's do this part by part. I mean, hopefully this will be less, uh, big, big structure than the playground. I mean, obviously it's a whole damn house. But, like, the garage door, for example, is a singular thing. And hopefully pretty easy to just chew straight through. That is definitely glaring at you through the windows. How great would that be? Like... I don't know. I I think it would be really cool to see some of these games embrace a slightly less realistic style. Uh, like, how many of you guys have seen the game Ember? Because that's, that's a firefighting game, but it's like really cartoony and wacky looking. I bought copies of it for, uh, for Rito Raps and Orbital, and I'm really looking forward to potentially playing it with them. But like, I would love to play this Imagine this level, washing a bungalow in the middle of the Milkman conspiracy level in Psychonauts, where you have, like, somebody just peering out the window at you repeatedly. Um, some guy, like, uh, halfway up, like, a telephone pole saying weird shit the entire time. And, you know, just this, like, really Asherian... Architecture? Almost? Like, you look up and you see the other half of the neighborhood up there, and it's like, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, the weird gravity well, as well. Yeah. Can't wait for the sequel. Yeah! I I know they showed off uh, Raz's siblings, which, like, I didn't even know he had siblings. Um... I'm looking forward to it. I am terrified that it is not going to be uh, as good as the first. But, like, realistically, gameplay could be anything. It's the writing that makes Psychonauts uh, live or die. There we go. There's a ding. I just needed that for a hot second. Yeah, unfortunately this wall is pretty tremendous. There we go. Okay, what am I missing on this driveway? It's probably this. Yep. Figured as much. There we go. Driveway is done.
Yeah, I'm looking forward to the sequel for Psychonauts. I'm looking forward to a number of kind of games coming out. Weird part is, like, I'm also equally kind of apathetic about a lot of them. It's like, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but I can also just, like, gladly wait forever for them. Like, I was... I know a lot of people like to hate, hate on Skyward Sword, but I'm really looking forward to potentially playing uh, Skyward Sword later this week. Is that, I've never actually finished really any of the mainline Zelda games, except for Breath of the Wild. And, like, I really want to go back at some point and finish all of them. We'd started Twilight Princess, but never finished it. If you're playing the sequel right away, I have to not watch it. I'm going to be getting it for the PS4. And Microsoft keeping it as an Xbox Windows game at launch. Yeah, ooh. Uh, I wonder about that. Microsoft's been kind of weird about this feeling of exclusivity. Wow, my voice cracked strangely. Um, because I know that I know they gladly put everything on Steam nowadays. So it might not be that bad. Uh I guess the real question is uh what platform is Wasteland 3 out on? Because did Wasteland 3 also come to PlayStation? Or is it not even on PlayStation yet? Also, what happened to this house? Like, this bugs me a little bit that the rest of the garden is pristine, but the house itself is vile. Like, it's a little contrived. Okay, so it's certainly not available for pre-order on the PS4. Alright. Yeah, it might take a take a little while then. Okay, got the door, got the door frame. Got that. Let's see. Gutter is gnarly no matter what. Boy, this improved pressure washer certainly does just uh, chew through house. I guess I could have saved up for the even higher tier one, but like, eh. That would have taken so much longer. that are counted no. There we go. I guess I might as well do the more focused one for stuff like the windows. Because the windows are much smaller. This is really satisfying. I should do this more. There we go. Perfect. And what happened to this house? Like, I know it's like, yeah, my parents uh, haven't cleaned it forever, and they're kind of down on their luck or whatever. But at the same time, like, holy shit, what happened to this house? I've seen some pretty dirty houses, and this, this house looks like it got hit by a flood. This game kind of reminds me of House Flipper. It does, but, like, House Flipper felt kind of weird and contrived. This feels mechanically perfect. Like, if you notice, I'm mostly just asking for, like, weird... weird side stories and, like, odd things to clean, but I'm barely talking about what could be improved with the gameplay, just because I think the gameplay is so perfect. Like, you could do more with this, and I would, I would love to see them, like, really add a wide repertoire of, like, interesting, uh, power-ups, almost. You know, different, different tools that you can mess around with. 
Like, straight up, I... How great would it be if you could get, like, uh... Like a magical staff that would cause it to rain. That slowly gets rid of some of the grime and, like, cleans up the little bits that you missed. Like, does it make sense? No. But it would be cool. Or, like, you could put a turret down, like, one turret over the course of an entire map. And it would just slowly shoot at grime spots in an area. Or, like, uh, Roomba drones that would just, like, crawl over the house. Cleaning sp spots. Uh, that are, like... Uh, let's see. You know, they would clean spots, but they wouldn't necessarily be the most accurate, so you'd have to come back and... Uh, clean the bits that they missed. None of these would fit with the more realistic tones that this game has, but it would be funny. And it'd be kind of fun. Because, like, as it stands, there doesn't seem to be much of a use for the money in the game, because it's just like, hey, I got a better power washer, and it's just like a linear upgrade to what I already have. Yeah, ultimately, I think it's just better for me to go up and down. It was kind of fun to do the, uh... The loops around, but it wasn't particularly necessary. Yeah, I'm gonna change some of my controls for a hot second. Uh, oh, can I not? Oh, that sucks. I was really hoping that I could actually rebind the controls. So left click was right click and right click was uh, rotate. I don't mind pressing R, but left click is kind of meaningless to me. Why is this so good? Why am I so invested in this? I'm not going to say it doesn't make sense, but... Like, here I am, the indie game snob that usually likes really artsy, interesting roguelikes and whatnot. Ma keeps messaging me. They're getting really excited with how it's looking. Uh, sounds like it's going great. Are they just sneaking out to, like, creep on it? Or are they, like, in the street just watching? I see. This is just part of the whole porch package. I guess let's do the lowdown stuff and then come back for the higher bits. It is really satisfying. The whole game is. You know the other thing that would improve this would actually just be multiplayer. Being able to do this with friends would be kind of cool. Assign different tasks. Shoot water at each other. Have, like, odd ragdoll phys physics. So if you, uh... If you ragdoll, you know, orbital off the roof, you can do, like, a weird King of the Hill thing. And, oh man, if it even, like, tracked how individually useful every player was... Just as, like, kind of the light competitive element of, like, who cleaned the most. Uh, let's see. So, kind of like vis Viscera cleanup detail? Pretty much, yes. Because, I mean, really, I should sit down and play Viscera cleanup detail. It just, like, mechanically, it, it doesn't feel as, as satisfying as this. More fun, maybe, but, like, satisfying, no. Okay. Let's see. Did I... Yeah, I didn't actually get all this stuff when I was in here.
There we go. Some of these are going to be kind of difficult to reach. At least with the way that I currently am. I'm kind of hoping that just by... Oh, gosh. That was weird. There we go. Yeah, some of these angles are not supported. You know, the other thing is, this game would actually be pretty great in VR. Being able to specifically, like, look around corners and whatnot. There we go. There we go. Miss the interior edge on it. Nope. There we go. This house is way easier than the playground. I picked the playground thinking it was going to be easier than this, but I was wrong. I'm mostly just going up in terms of like, this is, uh, I guess whatever, I do whatever's cheapest first, just because I'm assuming it's going to be faster. But that playground was, uh, extra. Okay. Anything else that I absolutely have to get from this angle? I mean, there's there's this whole lower section, but it's fine. How are we at? 50%. Not bad, actually. Guess we might as well just get all of this done real quick. Might have to switch to the yellow just for the extra range. There we go. I haven't actually finished cleaning this one. I think... No, I did get that porch post. There we go. You can probably go back to green for these. There we go. Okay. Leaving us with the door. So much faster. window is done. Yeah! This wall is going to take a bit. But we'll leave it when we... Uh, we'll leave it for later. Or, I don't know, we'll complete it slowly, really. There we go. Perfect. Window done? Yes. I guess I might as well hang out on the ground <laughs> like an absolute weird creature. Yes, I am the power washing creature. I love clean. Oh, gosh. I think I have to clean the top of the porch roof. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I see. The wall is segmented. Yes! Okay, that makes my life a lot easier. I appreciate everything being uh, kind of separated out into smaller segments, so it's a little easier. How frustrating would this game be if it, if it just gave you just the overall percentage meter? You know, bungalow, 55%. No feedback otherwise of like, yeah, did I get the por porch roof? Let's see, by the by the extension for the extra range. Uh sure. I was thinking of actually getting the extensions on the maximum tier power washer. You know, rushing that and then getting all the extensions. As opposed to wasting, you know, ten percent of the cost of uh the next biggin on just an extension for this sucker. Yeah, sorry. I'm not actually reading chat as much as I would like. This game is kind of an all-eyes-on-me situation. Mm 
Mainly just because it's like, I don't know. There's no downtime. It's maybe that's part of the reason why this game is very compelling. It is 100% uptime all the time. Okay, apparently even Pops is out, rock, out of his rocking chair now and having a look. My superpower is peace of mind. What's uptime? So, when you're playing a video game, downtime is when you're not doing anything. Loading screens, cutscenes, uh, slow moments, waiting for a meter to rise, maybe you have an auto battle mode on. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways that you can have downtime. Um, and so when it comes to playing a video game, sometimes downtime is fine. If it's an idle game, if it's an auto battler, if it's, you know, just a slow game or a strategy game or something like that, it you don't need to have 100% uptime for the game to be good. But the more downtime you have, the more it, uh, the more likely it is for people to think this game is kind of boring. Uh, let's see. And so, this game has no downtime. There are no cutscenes. The only the only time you stop is when you're between levels, and realistically, that's a hard stopping point as opposed to just downtime, downtime. So normally I look over and I read chat when I'm, um, you know, when I can kind of play on automatic or if, you know, I'm just moving from point A to point B or if it's a loading screen or just kind of whenever, you know, I can stop. But in this game, there's no moment where, I mean, there's every moment where I could just turn the power washer and stop and read and respond to chat, which wouldn't be so bad. But... At no point does the game, like, if I'm just playing the game without manually forcing myself to stop, at no point does it actually uh, incentivize that through through regular gameplay. Um, and that's totally fine. But uh, I rely on that little bit of extra downtime specifically... Uh, for responding to you guys. And it actually gets kind of difficult to tear myself away because it is honestly pretty addictive. Oh! The pipe is part of the gutter. I was wondering why it wasn't almost done being cleaned. Okay, I think we're getting to the point where I'm going to have to be on top of this to actually clean it. The roof is going to take a while. What else are we missing? Because, yeah, this wall lends up with the upper part. I just want to get everything done from the lower section before I go. I think so. Okay, ladder. Ladder. There we go. This is gross. Why would you let your roof get this bad? One of my neighbors in Massachusetts when I still lived there. Uh, let's see. Their their roof was... I'm going to say it was pretty vile. Uh, it was so bad that uh, the roof actually had, like, partially collapsed. And for a significant portion of the time that I was living at my parents' house, the, uh, the neighbors specifically had, uh, had, like, their roof covered in a tarp. Yep. 
uh, let's see, covered it in a tarp because otherwise it would leak. And that would, like, last through the winter and stuff. It was not great. And it always blew my mind that they would let it get that bad. Because it didn't, it didn't seem like they were incapable or incapable of paying for it. They just didn't care. But I realized depression and priorities and a bunch of other things. Like, I can, I can see why people wouldn't care that much. But, boy, ignoring a problem like a leak in your roof or a partially collapsed roof just seems like it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. Okay, so it looks like I can use the white sprayer for this. Except for maybe like the moss and a couple other locations. Yeah, if, there, if there's moss, I'll have to switch away from it. But it seems like it's good enough for this stuff at the very least. Okay, how are we doing? We're nearly the 50% mark. We're clearing it out pretty quick. Let's see. Anything else? Just a little bit there. Let's take a quick pass on this. Yeah, so the white washer doesn't actually get rid of the the tougher grime. But I can do a first pass and it cleans most of it up pretty quick. The roofs are expensive. I know they're expensive, it's just a matter of like, not fixing your roof is more expensive. It's like car insurance. Sure, car, car insurance is pretty pricey, but not having car insurance is more expensive. Same thing with health insurance. I know a couple of young people that didn't, uh, young people, you know, a number of my peers that didn't have health insurance. Um, and were like, yeah, I don't need it. I'm, I'm young and healthy. Like one of them broke their leg and it was like a lot of money just for the hospital visit and whatnot. I don't actually know what came of that now that I'm thinking about it. Like, I know they broke their leg, but then after that, did not hear anything about, like, how they were paying for it. Because I know, I know they were upset over the bills, but that was it. I guess it doesn't help that, you know, that was senior year of college, and... After graduation, I kind of just didn't hear from, like, anybody I knew. Post. Means either people didn't care about me that much, or, I don't know. I, I guess it's kind of the same way. I barely communicate with anybody, so why would they communicate with me and vice versa? Let's go super wide mode on this. There we go. Perfect. I was wondering, it's like, I bet I could just go super wide mode on a number of these surfaces and it would be more than enough. And the answer is, it was more than enough. I do have to slow down just a smidge. I wonder what the dirtiest thing is going to be in this. What do you think it's going to be? How many levels are there, actually? Let's see. It's like, you'd think this would get old and repetitive. And I guess it is, but it's just kind of fun 
the alternate locations, you know, switching between... Uh, switching between houses and vehicles and stuff is kind of nice. I think, unfortunately, the next place I'm going to be cleaning is also another house. Let's see, is this all... Yeah, it's still bungalow roof. It's all bungalow roof. Last one will be the dirtiest. Maybe. Still want it to be a Gundam. Well, you know how earlier I was complimenting on this on everything being subdivided? Bungalow roof is massive! Alright, I never finished this gutter, I don't think. There we go. On the plus side, positively massive, I think also means I can just super spray it pretty quick. And it'll just eventually be like, ding, you got it. I almost feel like instead of auto-completing things, what it should be is uh, the meter for like 98% cleaned should actually just be like 90% clean. Once you got it up to 90%, you can stop. Uh... But then you can keep going for, like, a little bit of extra money. I almost feel like that would be more more realistic than, like, Oh, you've almost finished this area. Congratulations! Okay, so I've got one more gutter I've got to clean. This one. Okay, and then we got two posts. But which posts? Alright, one remains. This one. I just have to figure out what the heck is dirty about it. There we go! Bungalow looks amazing, Doc. Thank you. You won't believe the impact it's had. Ma's down in the woods picking flowers and Pops is muttering excitedly about another job he's got for you. So if you hear from Leonard Miller, that'll be from him. Let's see, isn't that how it actually is, though? I thought you unlocked the next area after a certain point. You get a bonus for getting 100%. I guess that's a good point. I just, it's weird to me that just, like, I almost finish an area, and then it's like, eh, good enough, and then it just, uh, winks off. Yeah, 2,000 for profession professional duty. So instead of giving this the range add-on, I think I'll just save up for the Prime Visa 3,000. Especially because I don't like how big this one is in my hands. This one might also be big, we'll see. Okay, career mode. Clean the detached house. Oh boy, this one looks like it's going to be more work. 